Hey there, how's it going everybody? So check this out. I want to share with you one of the most beautiful plants that I have growing in my garden. In fact, I believe it to be the most beautiful. And it's none other than the Ceanothus shrub. And here we are in early spring and the plant has woken up and pushed out all these beautiful violet electric blue flowers. So the Ceanothus is an evergreen shrub, meaning that it does not lose its leaves over the winter time, like many of the other plants that go dormant, such as this jujube tree next door, which we're still waiting to wake up for the spring season. And this is great because during those winter months, when everything's kind of gloomy and there's not much life going on in most gardens, you have this splash of color, as the green leaves are also very vibrant and quite attractive in their own right. Now you're gonna notice as I pan around, that there are plenty of bees and bumblebees and other beneficial insects also making their way to the shrub. Now this is a major bonus for gardeners. And once they're here, they will make their rounds throughout the rest of your garden, helping to pollinate your fruit trees and other plants that you have growing. It's also one of the favorite hangout spots for my backyard chickens. They spend a lot of time over here. They feel safe because of the dense foliage. Helps to keep them out of the sun as well. Now this particular variety of Ceanothus is known as blue jeans. It is said to be the most cold hardy. It can withstand temperatures down to zero degrees Fahrenheit, which means if you live in USDA climate zone 7A and up, you can grow this in your yard. Now placement for the Ceanothus is important as it does prefer full sun. I ended up giving this particular plant center stage in my garden because of its showy appearance, and I'm sure happy I did. At the time of purchase, this was just a small one gallon potted up plant I think I paid about $6.99 for it, and it's now fully mature at its full size between five and seven feet. Now you can prune these to fit into your landscape, but you're gonna to wanna to do it after the blooming cycle. But because of the density of the foliage, it's quite easy to shape it however you like, whether you like that squared box look or more of a round circular design. Now this could be a wonderful choice if you're looking to create a bit of a wind block in your garden. If you've got more sensitive plants, that you want to help to protect or if you're even trying to just block out some noise or add a little bit more privacy to your garden an evergreen shrub of any sort is going to help you but the ceanothus being again as dense as it is is a wonderful choice and then you get this pop of beauty in the early spring which makes it all that much better One of the most desirable aspects of the Ceanothus is that it's a nitrogen fixing shrub. That means that it takes atmospheric nitrogen, brings it down into the soil and converts it into a soluble nitrogen that's used up by the plant itself, helping to feed it and the surrounding plants as well. And I'm a big fan of nitrogen fixation. Anytime you can create free fertilizer on site, you are winning. There must be some sort of stimulant in the pollen of these flowers. I don't know. I've never seen the bees and bumblebees so erratic when they buzz around this bush. It's like they're just so excited and hyper. And a little later in the season, because these flowers did just emerge, but a little later when more and more bees start coming in, there'll come a time when this entire shrub is just buzzing with life. It's an amazing sight and sound to experience. Now here's another Ceanothus growing in my garden. Again, it's the blue jean variety. And because it's in a slightly different location, it gets a little bit more shade. It's a little, whoa. <laughs> it's a little slower to wake up, <laughs> as I was saying. I think the bird's got something to say. So you can see at the early stages before the blue color comes out, it has these white flower buds that emerge. And then it's like an explosion of color almost overnight once the plant wakes up. Now I've done quite a bit less pruning on this Ceanothus than the other that I've shown you. And you can see how it has more of a natural flow as the branches kind of drape over and hang down very beautiful. 
So if you start off with a one gallon potted plant like I did, you can expect a fully mature specimen in five to seven years, and then you'll be able to enjoy the beauty in your garden for the next 10 to 15 years. Now, Ceanothus is a drought tolerant shrub. In fact, it prefers dry feet. Therefore, it requires very little to no watering throughout the summer months, a great benefit to most gardeners. Now, most varieties of Ceanothus do prefer a well-draining soil. However, this particular variety, known as Blue Jeans, can also do well in clay soil. With that being said, it's a good idea to go ahead and add in some good compost, which can help with drainage and add some nutrition early on in the plant's life cycle. And as long as we're on the topic of nutrition, there's no need to ever fertilize this plant once it's established. Just a little compost up front when you put it in the ground and you're good to go. How you doing ladies? So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care, I'll be talking to you again soon.